I'm not gonna believe it. I found the answer. All those years, I should have seen it. There's more. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you when I get home. Everybody and welcome to Sanitarium. Good old 1998 game. I played this when I was young a bunch of times through, and I know how to play this game. Oh yes, I do. This is going to be an actual uh, walkthrough. These beds are filthy. Yes, they are. They're uh, terribly. These beds are filthy. Yeah, they're terribly filthy. Okay, so if you don't know anything about Sanitarium, this is a point and clicker, uh, point and click adventure game. Jeez, can't talk today. Uh, point and click adventure game where you are this man right here. You w walk around using. How oh, horrible! What kind of place is this? Using a bunch of, uh, just, uh, you know, just the right click on your mouse. There's nothing here, um, on the keyboard that's pretty much of use except for some of the function keys which make you talk. Uh huh. Hmm. Uh oh. Yes! Nope. <laughs> Damn! 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 But yeah, so that the, those are all the emotion keys. Nope. Nope. Ha 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 ha! Yes! Yes! Damn! And damn! <laughs> That's my favorite one when I was a little kid. Damn! damn. <laughs> but uh, I digress. That I I'll keep moving here. But you are this man. That opening cinematic you saw sets the game off, and you don't know what's going on. You uh, saw a man drive a car off a cliff, and you wake up in this hell hole, and you are tasked with finding yourself pretty much along this game you don't know who this is and I will not spoil anything for you I know this game front to back but I will not spoil anything from you this is a uh, puzzle game mostly so I will try to make it abundantly clear that I uh, some of the puzzles I just have no idea what I'm doing but uh, we'll just you know go along with it we'll roll along and we'll find out why this guy's doing the chicken dance I guess the switch must control the alarm let's pull it Finally, that thing was driving me crazy. Yes, it was. And if you don't pull that, you can pull it again and turn it back on, but it is the all I'm missing to do. Um But uh since we are in a point and click adventure game, he's gonna be talking quite a bit. I'm gonna try to talk over uh I'm trying oh, excuse me, I'm trying to try not to talk over all of his dialogue, because his dialogue is really interesting. You get to learn about the character, you get to learn about the story, as much as the game wants to give you, spoon-feeding you time and time again. What horrible living conditions! So if I do start to talk over something, I'll do it, I'll uh, cut it out in post, so you guys don't miss anything at all. It might be useful. Except for that one right there. Ugh, these beds are filthy. Ugh, these beds are filthy. And so, as you can see here, we are this antagonist, or protagonist, and we have a towel. Can you do anything with this towel? Nope. Well, that would hurt. Well, that would hurt. I'm not sure what would hurt with a towel. But we can walk all over this place. Walk up to the statue, statue even. There's a locking mechanism in the base. But what for? 
Hmm. Indeed, what for? We don't know what's what for, but we have an inventory, of course. A and towel. In our inventory, we have a towel. But um, we can use that towel where it's supposed to go. This is very, very much a puzzly type of game, and we can interact with the environment to find what's going on and figure out why this guy is hitting his head and bloodying it against the wall. Diagnosis crazy. Yes, no shit. Uh, while we listen to this uh, nice smacking noise in the background, we can all, I can also safely say that this game is not safe for children. I will be putting a uh, warning at the beginning of the video just to be safe. Um, I know I swear a bunch of my other videos, but this game has quite a bit of uh, hellish sequences in it, and it is very, um, very disturbing. Like, this, to a child, is very disturbing. So, um, I'm gonna make sure nobody's gonna be, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a, uh, warning at the beginning of it. Um, but this game is much, is, is as much about the puzzles as it is about the, the story and how creepy the story actually is. And I hopefully won't, uh, rush through it too fast and, you know, get done with it in too timely of a manner. That you don't get the story, you don't get the feel of the story. Because this game, when you first play it, is hard as hell. You don't know what to do, and you're just trying to figure out what's real, what's not, and what's just happening in general. So, I'll try to keep that on the down low. What is a, a towel. You want a towel? No. At least this one looks friendly enough to talk to. Can I ask you something? Can I ask your name? The... 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 Don. I haven't heard you before. Who... Who are you? I wish I knew. I, I can't remember my name. I was hoping you might know me. Stupid voice! Are you a sp... sp... spirit? Okay, so and also in this game we get these nice long dialogue... <laughs> you know... I, I would say trees, but they're not really trees. But, um, what's really cool about this game is the voice acting. It's one of the best, uh... Early, late 90s games that I have uh, played before that has voice acting and it's, it's just absolutely gorgeous in that uh, effect with just the 2D and with the uh, voice acting so we'll, uh, I'll, I, obviously with these I won't talk over these, I just have to make comments in between the little sections that I click on but uh, let's just ask him why there's going, why, why, what about spirits, why are they in his head? I'm no spirit, just a man like you! Like me? The, the then you c c can hear the voices too, can't you? I'm not sure. These voices, spirits, ghosts, whatever they are, who are they? The fallen warriors. They demand vengeance. Oh, vengeance, huh? What is it they're demanding vengeance for? T t t temples. The fallen temples. C c can't you hear them? C c crying out? Is this the temple? Is this place one of the fallen temples? No, 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 no. If you don't know, know, know that, you're not the w w w warrior I thought you to be. Well, we can ask him where we are. He won't know. Uh, well, we can ask him why. I'm not sure what that one does. Why are you in this place? What brought you here? Isn't it obvious? Hide the ding from him. Him? I don't... Sh sh shut up, or he'll hear you, stupid voice. Well, I'm not going to ask him where he is since he has no freaking clue. Because he's crazy. Like, everybody in here, right? Yeah, everybody's in here crazy. Including me, it would seem. So, we're going to... Well, I guess including not just me, it's us. Because we're all in this boat together, right? I'm not in, I'm not in this, you know, alone. <gasps> What is that? There's a locking mechanism in the... I can interrupt his sequences. And I will do that fairly frequently if I keep clicking on something dumb over and over again. We'll come down here. We'll see what's going on. What's in here? Oh, dear. Who's this? He seems familiar, but I can't quite remember. Hello. I don't believe I know you. What's your name? Lenny. I'm Lenny. Lenny's my name. Well then, you must be Lenny. You wouldn't happen to know my name, would you? Nope. Mom says not to talk to strangers. Hmm. And so we meet Lenny. Lenny, do you know where we are? This is my room. My bedroom. Do you like it? Bedroom? No, I mean the building. What's this place we're in? What's it called? My house. 
Okay, so in some of these dialogue trees will go places. Like, if I was to I'd talk to everybody in here, I'd get a feeling for where I am, what I'm doing, and everything. But I, I know what's going on, and I'm, I'm going to try to streamline the dialogue a little bit. Because if you go through the entire game and listen to every bit of dialogue, it takes, like, four days straight. <laughs> so I'm going to try to limit my uh, dialogue trees down to what I know is going to give you pertinent information and what will just give you household information that obviously, well, this I, and I, it's because if I was click house, he'd be like, well, we're not in your house, and he'll be like, yes we are, and he'll get mad, and da, 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 da. I'm going to do it anyways because it makes a funny noise at the end. This isn't your house. Yes, it is. Or, that's a different one. Okay, so we'll... we'll Why are one. you here, Lenny? Can you tell me that? I was very, very bad. Bad? I can't believe that of you, Lenny. What did you do? I, uh... I ate some pumpkin pie. Where is everyone, Lenny? Where well, you should be. You should listen. Mother made them all go away. Well, it's like where the pie went. Pie? How could you get in trouble for that? It came from the patch. A pumpkin patch? Where is it? Where? <laughs> yeah, that one. <laughs> Makes a silly noise. What I haven't realized is that they talk a lot about the game in this early little bit here. It's quite actually intriguing. Um, hmm. I didn't notice that before. Just a little side thought in my own little bit there. I must not have heard her. Lenny, where did she tell them to go to? To school. Yeah, she made them go to school. Well, since I didn't hear your mom, can you tell me how to get to school? More screaming. Okay then. Well, we're done with you. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Poor Lenny. What's he doing huddled in a corner? Trying to hide? Oh, I can't talk to him. I forgot about that. Excuse me. Martin. Oops, sorry. Martin, I said. Uh, do you know... Do you know who... Can you tell me my name? How the hell should I know? How can you stand all of them? Buzzing. Constantly buzzing. Okay, well, he's not going to give us any other information. I'm just going to say goodbye. Hey, uh, who are you? Oh my god, don't! <laughs> my god! Oh, you poor fat bastard. Falling off the damn bridge again. Shouldn't get too close to the edge. Well, he had his pants around his legs, so I'm not, you know, feeling very sorry for him. That must be the generator. They said it could explode any minute. How do I get out of here? I don't know. Put the... That's not a generator. That's, a, that's like a boiler almost. Good lord. But yeah, I'm going to try to get through... The, these sections are really long. But they have they set this game into different chapters, and there's like ten of them, I think. But um, I'm going to try to get through them in a quick manner, and I will uh, also trying to make it more a little more interesting as you go on. And I don't know how I'm going to cut up these videos, if they're going to be in chapters, if I'm just going to do like an hour-long video, or if I'm going to cut them up into different sections, maybe 25 minutes or 30 minutes. We'll see. Let's slide down here, because this is how we get down to the little base zone. Look, see that towel came in handy, but you dropped it. You fool. Looks like some sort of control panel. Well, let's hit that sucker. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. Cook it with fire. So now we go in here, and we get introduced to the game's first puzzle. Hmm, what's wrong with this thing? Hmm, the cables need to be plugged in before I can use the VCR. Who knew it would be so difficult? Red goes to red, yellow goes to yellow, and the analog goes to black. Huzzah, we have one. Power it up, and play that sucker. Can you hear me? It's Dr. Morgan. Your delusions almost took the life from you this time. My face, it's in bandages. Where am I? Who am I? You must have thought you had somewhere important to go when you stole that car. Oh, no. You did a lot of damage to that face of yours in the crash. I'm sorry, I, I can't believe. No apologies. All we need is your best effort. And before you can give us that, you need some rest. Bruce, help our lad back to his room. 
Don't worry, son. We'll talk again soon. Ooh, Whoa! Creepy. That short circuit opened the safe! Yes, it did. Very creepy indeed. That VCR won't work anymore. It's fried. So what's going on here? Could be answers in here. And so now we can look through some documents. A memo regarding the tower bridge. Due to recent problems with the generator, all employees are asked to keep the tower bridge extended at all times. It will be extremely difficult to extend the bridge from the outer ring should the power go out. Yeah, it looks like they did their job really nicely. A letter for Dr. Morgan from a Professor Cunningham. Something about an ancient key found here in the asylum. The key you describe must be very old indeed. I have found documentation that may link it to Aztec culture. Though we'd have to examine the object carefully here at the Institute in order to confirm this theory. Memo from the Chief of Security. It gives some details about a patient escape. Number 227. And the memo says that the West Wing is inadequately contained, and all the patients have been transferred to the tower cells. Here! But where are they now? Interesting. There's our memo for the day. I think that's the same thing on the top shelf. Yes. Well, let's pick up this thing that we opened up. It's some strange kind of key. But a key to what? I don't know. Well, we have it now. We have it. So, we might as well try to use it. Can you guess where we're supposed to use it? Because it was fairly obvious earlier. I mean, it did light up and everything when we walked by it. Yes, of course, it's the angel with the keyhole socket in the base. Prepare for a cutscene, and I think I'm going to cut the video after this cutscene so you don't have to see the next little section of the game. But because we're going to do that in the next episode. Jeez, already getting done here. So I'll see you in the next episode after we get done with this next cutscene. Seek the truth. 